celebrating was not just reserved for team members. The father of Xavier assistant coach Luke Murray was dancing to the tune of a trip to the Elite Eight. That's right, it's Bill Murray, Carl Spackler from Caddyshack, the Cinderella story. And while Xavier should not be described as Cinderella, there are other ways you can describe this run. I mean, it's, it's just exciting. Pure happiness. It's an incredible feeling. From veterans to newcomers, positive emotions were just flowing. It's crazy, you know, my freshman year, you know, I'm going to Elite Eight, and I get to share with these great guys with me. And, uh, you know, as much adversity as we, we've been through, I feel like we deserve it, you know, I'm so happy. But, you know, we're not done yet, you know, but I'm gonna enjoy this moment. Moments before all of the celebration, as the final seconds ticked off the clock, head coach Chris Mack was having trouble coming to grips with this big moment. I looked up and, and he was sprint dribbling up the floor and it was like three seconds, two, and I was like, this, this isn't real. Like, I thought there was at least 13, 14 seconds. I mean, like, they might not catch him and they didn't. And, um, wow, yeah, it's uh, hard to believe. So now Xavier on the doorstep of the first Final Four in school history. Not going to be easy, though, this Gonzaga team taking down Bob Huggins in West Virginia last night. We had two terrific games here last night. Both decided late, and now Xavier and Gonzaga going at it here tomorrow. A 6.09 tip, Cincinnati time. Reporting live from San Jose with the Musketeers, I'm George Vogel, WLWT News 5. Hey, George, before you go, I know my alma mater, Syracuse, last year was a really low seed, and they got there. What is the track record of 11 seeds actually advancing to the Final Four? Well, three times since 1979 when they seeded this far down, 11 seeds have made it to the Final Four, which is somewhat surprising. LSU did it in 1986, George Mason in 2006, then in 2011, not all that long ago, VCU did it. In fact, VCU came out of one of those first four games in Dayton all the way to the Final Four. So the bottom line, Xavier is very aware of this, and Xavier knows it can happen tomorrow night. Mike? All right.